What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark. We are six weeks out. We're doing a travel day back to Biomarketing going to Calgary and then we're gonna go back to Kelowna. I'm gonna give you guys an update. Sit back, relax, enjoy the episode. Let's go. When I say I'm gonna do something, it's already done. I'm coming for overall Ben's Physique Champion at Summer Shredding in October 2023. This is redemption. Okay, so I just weighed in 192.5, which is the lowest that I've been so far in this prep thon, which is so fucking exciting because I've been grinding my ass off. So I had a high carb day, got 450 grams of carbs, literally just had a bowl of oats, 60 grams of oats, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and one scoop of protein batter. And now we're just gonna pack up all of our shit and we're gonna head out and we're taking a six hour drive to Punta Cana and then we're gonna fly to Toronto and then fly to Calgary. So without further ado, let's get it. Ready. Bittersweet. I like, love it here, but I'm excited to get home. So this is chicken and rice and a bunch of waters. Try to stay on prep as much as you can. Oh, I also got not as much as you can. I gotta win my fucking show. There's chicken. There's like. 500 grams of chicken, rice, and broccoli, and mushrooms in here. And then got a bunch of water for the road, too. So it turns out we just stopped to go to the washroom and by like a security gate, and I went to the wrong washroom, and the guy walked in with a shotgun. <laughs> I was being in person, it's like, uh. So we went to the wrong washroom. And we don't speak Spanish. We just walked in with a shotgun and he was like, we were like, sounds good, pick it up. Alright guys, so we've been driving for about three hours now, three and a half hours. We finally found a place that's open. It is 6.23 in the morning. We started this journey at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I've already done my fasted cardio. Uh, I wasn't going to, but I got up at 1 o'clock in the morning to do my fasted cardio. I did my fasted cardio, um, about uh, 70 grams of carbs deep. I oh no, I'm about 100 grams of carbs deep because I smashed some rice cakes. We're gonna get some coffee. Oh, my man Felix right there. Man, Felix, say hi. You're gonna be famous, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna go get a uh, coffee. Uh, we got a giant suburban that has all our suitcases in it. We're ready. Let's get it. I'm like, when you're on contest prep, everything looks and tastes and feels better. Chris Bumstead talks about this on his YouTube channel. The deprivation does to you. Like everything just feels better. You know, everything tastes better. Now we begin our adventure. We're at 
travel. Actually, fucking, I'll show you guys some funny shit. So, because I'm living in hotels. Let's go. Got a burner in here. Literally fucking everything. So, when you live in a hotel, you gotta make sure that you're those batches. You gotta do the best you can. Hot. It's like when you're on prep and you wanna win, there's two, two types of prep. There's prep so you're just on prep, and there's prep so you wanna win. I wanna fucking win. So, um, when you wanna win, you gotta play at a different level. And so I bring all my cooking gear with me. I got enough stuff in here to do like a workout if I don't have access to a gym. Um, and yeah, you just do what the fuck you need to do to get the work done. We, Left like we, our it's flight was at. It was weird. So when I booked the flight, but yeah, I booked the flight the and I saved my calendar. I saved my calendar as 11 a.m. PST. I'm sorry, 11 a.m. Dominican time. But then on the flight ticket it said 2 p.m. So it said 1:50. So on the calendar it said 10:50. On the flight it said 1:50. So we did initially get a taxi from our Airbnb to here, so that it arrived at 8 a.m. and we'd be here by. For the flight at 11, but then the flight tickets at 2. So, just to be safe, we ended up getting here way too early, which is all good. We're actually here five hours early instead of three hours early, which is fine because I'd rather be here early than late. So, we just got a couple hours of chill in the airport. Mr. Fluff's in his little bag. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? All this hassle without trying to go to our has a massive amount of fat. So this is like three. This thing has fucking 60 grams of fat. You can put it in there. You can take for the entire day. Oh, oh there it is. change on your flights anytime you want to like self check and you can't you have to actually speak to a person because you have a dog obviously they have to have like a bunch of shots and stuff which he already has but it differentiates for each country so for example like the states are stickers so like getting him into the states you have to have like a CDC permit um, so when we do come from Kelowna to the Dominican for three to four months at a time obviously I'm not gonna my dog but we're gonna want to look for flights that just go directly um, to Canada versus stopping over in the U.S. Um, outside of that, I mean, there's places for him to pee, which is nice. Um, it's a little bit less peaceful on the plane because I, like, have him on my lap. It hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. Like, bringing him down here, like, he was honestly so happy. He loved it here. I think he's happier here than Canada. I do. He was honestly the happiest I've ever seen him. The only thing that was like slightly annoying was the like plane requirements, but outside of that, it was honestly like he loved it, and he was great on the plane. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. I thought I thought he was gonna be a genius. Yeah, he was. You wouldn't have even known he was there. Good job, Fluff. You're the real G, and him and Jack's bonded too. Right? A little bit. I don't think he's there now. Thank you. 
on the plane. I haven't really gotten a lot of sleep. I got up at one. Worked on a speech for Kirsten's girls tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get an actual meal in at this airport. We got like a four hour layover, so I want to get an actual fucking meal because I haven't had an actual meal all day. I'm eating chicken out of containers. I need to eat like some fucking nice warm meat. Yeah. But like the last show, me and Jax were just talking about I'm like 42 days out right now and for the last show, like I wanted it, like I did, I did want it, like I wanted to win. But it had also been like two years since I competed, so I almost like forgot what it felt like. You know, but like this show, getting first place in my class and not getting overall, fucking stunned. So like, I am tired right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking hide it. I am exhausted. But I also, like, I woke up at one o'clock in the morning to do an hour of cardio today because like, I'm not fucking playing. Like, you might think that's crazy, and maybe it is. Maybe it is. But I know what the fuck I want. And you're gonna have to outwork me to, to win. And nobody's gonna outwork me. Period. I was thinking about this on the plane. I don't fully know what it means yet, but like working one on one with somebody, don't get me wrong, I like love that. But I truly do think that like I have a message that needs to be shared like on a big scale. And I think more people need to hear it. And I don't know what that looks like yet, but I wanna create like real value. Like 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 I wanna be like a uh, fucking game changer. You know? Like an impact maker. Like my existence makes everyone's life better. Well, can I tell you what I think? <laughs> I think that you're already on the way to that because like you have an arena with 5,000 plus people and you're gonna be on that stage. So I agree with you, but I feel like, you're like, I don't know what that looks like, but I feel like you're living what it looks like. Cause that's what it looks like. That's the start of it. Being put in front of. You know what I mean? Like every single weekend that we are away, you are speaking at an event in front of large groups of people. Do you know what I mean? I am a gangster. She's not wrong. And I'm just a thug's wife. So I want to expand on what I said because yep. I, don't, I don't want it to be like misinterpreted or misunderstood. Yep. Part of creating real value in this world is like I've got speeches that I'm writing right now and even the speech for tomorrow as an example. So when I say like real value, like when I was writing that, I was like, I'm gonna make sure that somebody leaves this fucking speech and like leaves impacted. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not just writing a speech. And it's the same thing of like my content. Like I don't just wanna write content. Like when I'm writing content, I'm like, I want somebody to like read this piece of content and, and for it to slap so hard that they do something with it. Everything that I do, every opportunity that I have, like I just wanna approach it with that intention of like, this is gonna be a game changer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Real value. Yeah. It's just a different approach. Life not that fake shit. got to the Toronto airport and right now we are we were in the wrong terminal so we walked around just basically like looking how to get on WestJet. Turns out we we're in the wrong terminal so right now we're taking the train to Terminal 3. We're gonna uh, recheck in our bags. We're flying to Toronto or we're in Toronto we're flying to Calgary. We're staying overnight. Then Haley and Jax are flying to Kelowna in the morning and me and Curtis are going to my grandma's funeral. So hopefully once we get our bags checked we're gonna get an actual meal because I'm definitely starving. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna get a burrito bowl. It's actually like food you can select. Alright guys, I'm 
come and enjoy this meal. It's the first like not even a full real meal, but I'm honestly grateful. So I'm just gonna eat it. Thank the Lord. I'm literally having a second one because they're that good. Actual fucking food. Not beef jerky. Sign me up. Vegetables, meat, rice. So good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a lot of love for this meal right now. I was told Jax, I was like, you don't have to record me eating. He's like, well, you just truly look like you're enjoying the moment. I'm like, I was. It's like, there's something special when you can see them put individual ingredients into the meal. You know? Like, I like, the reason I didn't like eating that fucking, I, I didn't eat the chicken, but I didn't end up, did end up eating the rice in the Dominican airport because I was fucking starving. But the reason I didn't like it is like, I don't know, it's in the chair. I eat the I literally watched them put plain steak, plain chicken, plain salsa, just literally tomatoes, fucking rice and veggies in a bowl. And it's that good. Guilt free enjoyment. It does feel fucking good, you know? It's not hard to eat healthy. It's not, and like, this is like a good fucking meal, bro. It's good. Steak, chicken, or fucking lettuce, rice. Damn. I'm having a fucking good time right now. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just spent an hour hammering on my event speech, which actually felt really fucking good. I've been wanting to work on that all day, and I haven't really got the opportunity to, so to sit down and actually do it felt fucking amazing. Um, we've got one more flight, which I'm probably gonna pass out for. I'm super fucking tired. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm going to Calgary tonight. I'm going to my grandpa's funeral tomorrow. And, um, yeah. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, these next few weeks are gonna be very busy and a lot of traveling so my intention is to go into tomorrow and really like spend time with my family and then as soon as I get back to Kelowna blinders are on 100% focused and all in so that's it that's all you guys hope you guys have the best day of your entire life thank you guys so much for watching talk to you guys in the next episode peace